Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading. Okay, Aquarius, this reading, uh, thank you for all the love and support, first of all. And um, this reading is for those of you who are a soulmate in twin flames connections and you guys may be in separation. You're trying to figure out what's going on. This is just some energies that you guys will, uh, this person. So this is not for the one that's watching, even if you're a cross watcher. But this is for uh, the one you guys actually look into. However, the energy may flip and it may end up being your energy. Okay. And this is for the month of May. Let's see what's going on. We're going to start with seeing what this person has been working on internally. Messages for Aquarius twin. So many. Oh, wow. So this is underneath the deck, the um, Phoenix rising. Procrastination and then the Phoenix rising. They also, I also see rejection here. Aquarius, I think this person, um, I don't, you may know it or may not. This, this is when a lot of, a lot of aspects of yourself is, it's like to the point where you have nothing left. It's like from the ashes up, that's the Phoenix rising. Okay. So a lot of stuff was being removed in this person's way, removed out of this person's life that no longer serves them. So they can kind of completely start over, can start new. And you may have felt like it was procrastination or this was one of the things they either had to let go of. It was like just something that where they procrastinate about doing things, getting things done. And a lot, um, even if this is in regards to them being in other relationships, friendships, work and just environment, they, it was a lot that this person had to shed, had, had to let go of five signifies change. That's a 32. It's a lot. This person had to let go of through challenges that was the only thing to bring them. That's the type of change that they need. But, um, part of it, um, I'm getting this, you know what? Let me clarify this. Clarify please. Well, one card to find please. Or two. This is why things wasn't moving forward. This person wasn't in, this is the nine of pentacles in reverse and the charity in reverse. So this person didn't have the willpower, the confidence to build up and like grow themselves. That's why a lot of like stuff that they learned, like learned behaviors and everything had to be tore down. So this person could build themselves completely back up and turn these cards into the upright or else they would just kind of procrastinate and be like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow with their life. And that's part. And that's, um, it could be stemmed from rejection. This could be rejection in the home. Just some type of rejection. And that's what they've been working on internally. Like how to believe in itself, how to go for what they want. You know what I'm saying? Confidence. This is some phenomenal. How to balance their energies. Not looking at something like it's completely negative and completely positive. That good balance. Okay. Something, some part of them with that chariot was off balance. That's why you see the black and white horse. Maybe it was leaning too much on one side where they, um, they would are say they would just think about doing stuff a lot, but not really putting forth the action in life. And that's what they had to learn internally. Let's see what's going on in their outer world. Okay, we have that. Infantilism. And you don't um when when I read the cards. Some I just look at uh, the energies. I see both uh, sides of the energies, the good and the, the pop. Well, I don't look at it like that. So it's just about growth to me. So I don't look at it as in something's wrong or something's right. It's just about growth. Okay. So we have infantilism, anger, dark hair, man, absence, weakness, presence, and loss of money. So this was the type of person that when... um things happen, they expect it to be given to them. And that was like a weakness they had, something that they had to mature themselves into. If it wasn't given to them, they um, it had been a form of anger with them. And that may be, uh, and this is what they learned. I feel like uh, within in, with uh, your absence, that that's what caused this person to really look at this situation. And it's supposed to be their outer world, but I think that that's what this is. 
Like this person had to maybe lose a lot in order to like value what they have on the out. That's their outer world. They have to. They had to lose a lot to value the things that they do have. So this person with this weakness card can grow that type of strength. Not procrastinate. Go for what it is they want. There's some good energy. All right, let's get started in the reading. Okay, the present situation is the Nine of Cups. So now this part, let's see what this is. Okay, so Eight of Cup, Eight of Swords at the bottom. This person is really in their head, and I'm getting with this energy, like they're really focused on what it is that they truly want right now. But it's kind of keeping them in like a mental prison. Look at that. We got the Phoenix rising again. Look, the Phoenix twice. This person has done a lot to uh, heal himself, a lot of growth. Wow. Someone lo expresses love, a message thinking of you and letting you know. And then, uh, you know what? This person is getting to a place where they can express love, which is phenomenal. If this was someone who in the past, like, would kind of like get upset and, and just kind of go quiet or go cold or something like that, th it's going to be a significant change in this person because they're learning how to express love, like thinking of love and letting you know, this is the present situation they working in. They do want to do this too, but I'm, I'm getting it. This is this two different ways. Like now this person wants to be like the type of person where they can give and receive equally. And it's because they've done this Phoenix rising. They, they shared a lot and they built themselves back up. And the best thing for somebody to do is have that, that time away from somebody to build themselves back up on their own. Cause then they come back stronger. That's when this chariot come back, come upright. It is some work that I feel, still feel like they doing, but a lot for the most part of it is rising above it all. Now, like a lot has been stripped away. Now they're at a place where they're building onto themselves. Immediate challenge, divine. Okay. So we have the immediate challenges of Ten of Wands in reverse. Letting go of the past, letting go all of you see, they went through the Phoenix rising. So it's like let actually letting all that energy go, not looking at it as in I lost this, I lost that, and really move forward and had a confidence now to build something better. You see that nine of pentacles in reverse. So now it's about them building something more stable and going towards that. And that's what their immediate challenge is. Nine of pentacles again, and knowing how to do that. Maybe this is something new for this person. So they're trying to figure out how do I go about this? Since I'm rebuilding my life, what, what is the careful uh, plans or actions I need to take to do so? And that's what the hangman is. That's that's them getting that enlightenment, excuse me. Distant past. We had a six of swords, ten of swords, and a six of pentacles. And the, I feel like this is saying in the past, they may have moved away from you. Because this is a distant past. I don't know how long you guys... I think it's different for all of you guys when it's been together, but this seems like you guys been separated for a while, especially with the Phoenix rising. It could be more than a year or so. And um, this is saying um, I'm getting ex definitely more than a year, probably a year and a half or so. OK, so this is saying like um, this person moved away and or you could have moved away from this person. But it was a sense of backstab betrayal, that harsh ending that no one ooh, this heavy energy. But what it did was it created some form of balance or, or just like you, this could be moving away simply because it wasn't enough there. Like enough wasn't being given to the situation. And that's what happened in the um, distant past. We had a seven of pentacles, not enough energy or effort being put into something. Somebody putting in more. We see that here than the other. And that's what this person been working on. And I feel like they've been doing this in silence, like. It hasn't been a lot of people who really know what's going on with this person deep down inside. 
So I feel like a lot happened, especially with this infantilism. They had some some inner child growth they had to do. It was just a lot that they was working through. Some anger from feeling dis disappointed about how everything went. We see that with the Ten of uh, Wands. Is that so, so their immediate challenge is coming out of everything that they lost, not looking at it as a loss, but really looking at it as what they gained through this whole process. And I feel like that's what the main thing this is this happened with them is like time to put that down and, and kind of look at what you all you gained from this whole situation. Let's see the recent past. Two of Swords. So something was unclear to this person. Let's look at that seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. Something that they're worried about. Why is this two of swords here? Ending beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. And hand of cards, take a chance, risk, be a strategic options. Not showing hands gambling. Then we have the seven of swords. And this deck is like this, but I'm getting this as this strategy. Like this person is trying to think of a way how to move forward. We've seen that right here. But um, I'm getting this seven of swords as a strategy. Like what they're building, what they're growing right here. Because they've been through a lot. And it's saying like that this person has been working on rebuilding themselves so the, i feel like strategy plays a big big part here i feel like sometimes this person may be more uh mental focused than like trying to incorporate their intuition like logic play a big part in this let's see what the best outcome is best outcome ace of pentacles just starting completely over in a stable, grounded way. And that's what this person is trying to figure out. Or just figuring out what the best outcome be. Just really figuring out what it takes to start over. And have a, a brand new foundation. Something more solid. And to bring it into a reality. Immediate future. Look at that. They're going to do it. That energy is going to come in for them to do it. The divine is on this person's side. Like cheering them on they proud of this person you could tell this person put in a lot of work a lot of work on themselves something that's not easy to do especially when you get the phoenix twice factors affecting this situation getting this person <laughs> getting this person out their head like getting them from thinking that they're trapped like there's no way forward that's the only factor look at this Nine of Swords, getting this person out their head, allowing them not to worry. Like the worst is gone. You'd have already been through the Phoenix. Everything's been washed away. Now we're trying to rise you up. And this person is just worried about it, worried about making a wrong mistake. You see that with the Two of Swords, just a lot of worry about how to move forward successfully, solid. I think they're going to come into some clarity, though. External influences. Uh, other friends, family members with the three of cups here. Are you <laughs> external influence? This person uh, wanting to reconcile with you, kind of come back together and move this thing forward, kind of put it into the past. And that's what the external influence is. It's also. Yeah, it's you. It's we have three, three here, too. Coming into alignment with this connection. Hopes and fears. Hold on, I'm sorry. Let me clarify this. External influences. Look at that. <laughs> I say yes, you did. We got the twin flame card. So wanting to come back to this. You, you are an influence to this person. Whether you know it or not, you influence this person for all of this. Because that's the external influence, okay? Hopes and fears. So this person hoping that they can get stable, they can build this ground. Uh, finances could play a big part in this, with this person right now. But I feel like this person is focused on building an empire, just getting things stable, being more committed 
and grounded when he say they're going to do something. This is the energy this person is taking on as the king of pentacles, building something that's long term, that's steady and that's a commitment like they're committed to. However, that's also a fear independence so right now they focus more on their independence their finances being having a confidence all that type of stuff possibly living a life of luxury ain't nothing wrong with it this person want to live good and that's perfectly fine but um that's where this a lot of this person focus is but i feel like it's going to balance out in a minute to where they're going to start focusing on other things too it's just getting past this but i think uh, um and and with this temperance the mind like this person is hoping to get out their head for once. I feel like this person been going through a lot and they've been hoping that and they're fighting for it too. Outcome. We have the princess of pentacles, the death card, the five of cups and the page of swords. The bottom of the deck, we have the five of pentacles. Whatever it is that this person, the outcome to this is whatever it is that this person has been focused on about what they lost is five of cups. They just, they finna find a solution and kind of transform all this energy and start over new. For some of you, I am getting eventually this person going to reach out, but I feel like this person is heavily focused on their stability right now. A lot's finna change with this person. And they finna go for they 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 ten of cups, but it's something they gotta work through first, to where they're not they not too focused on all that they lost and not feeling like um, like that five of pentacles energy, like they don't have enough. Once they get out of that and come to this king of pentacles and really get their footing, I feel like then they'll reach out. Let me clarify. Outcome divine. Have faith. Love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. There you go. Under here, we do have codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block. So this person, it could be working through some blockages. That's why we see that phoenix rising, okay? Let me clarify this block. Clarify addiction divine. There you go. They're going to be able to, outcome is them moving forward from that. And um, any blocks they have, any of this energy to say eight of swords, any of that, they're going to eventually uh, be successful and move towards that. Move away from it in a major way. That's going to be major too. I feel like once they figure it out, once they remove that block, then they come into the chariot where things start picking up and moving quickly. All the hardest work has been done with this person. Okay, these cards are for you. They flew everywhere, but they for you. You have something you love, someone you love is thinking of you at finally at the moment. That could be this person. <clears throat> it's it's all right. Stop beating yourself up. A little indulgence in balance is healthy. Stop beating yourself up. You don't have nothing to worry about. Just take it easy. Don't be hard on yourself about none of this process. Even if you make mis what we quote mistakes, D don't worry about it. It's okay. Take pleasure in the things that you do. It's time to be happy about everything that goes on from this point forward and not beat yourself up. This is the worst confidence killer, not only in this person, because you guys could mirror since you're twins. This is the worst confidence um, killer is trying to so hard to fix yourself up till you start beating yourself down and you really find out that you're doing the opposite. So make sure that you change in that energy too and not beating yourself up by any mistakes that you make, even if... It, <laughs> just don't okay and then take pleasure in the things that you do just be happy and just kind of look more towards the stuff that make you happy if it is something like i don't i can't explain it nothing is a hundred percent good or a hundred percent bad okay so we could just look at it like that in a certain sense okay and then listen to your intuition because your intuition been trying to tell you that everything is all right there's nothing wrong you see it twice so just pay attention to that you feel it all through your body I don't know if you um, know how to work with the wisdom of your body, but if you feel any resistance, that's your body telling you that, that what you're thinking or something like that 
is not really helping you, not really working out. And that's why you can be stressing about it. Okay, Aquarius, that's the message I have for you. I hope it helps. Bye.